The Word of God says in Romans chapter 8, starting off in verse 1, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Contrary to popular opinion, this passage is pertaining to a practical earthly condemnation experienced by those who are in Christ Jesus, not a positional eternal condemnation experienced by those who are dead in their trespasses and sins. Notice first and foremost that no condemnation in this context is conditioned upon walking after the Spirit, which is a command given to them which are in Christ Jesus. Verse 5 says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The contrast is drawn between the carnal mind and the spiritual mind. According to the Word of God, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. This again speaks to the practical experience of the believer in this life. Watch this. Positionally, we have peace with God. We have eternal life. We are in the Spirit and shall not come into condemnation. However, if we choose to be carnally minded and walk after the flesh, practically we will experience condemnation and death rather than the peace of God which passeth all understanding the more abundant life that Jesus Christ spoke of in John chapter 10. Look at verse 7. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. In the preceding chapter, Paul details his failure to find how to perform that which is good. Attempting to live by the law in the power of his own flesh, rather than growing in grace by the power of the Holy Spirit, his self-dependence resulted in spiritual defeat, a practical death experience devoid of life and peace. Verse 12, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh, for... If ye live after the flesh, ye shall die, but if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. In other words, the believer who lives after the flesh will not experience the life and peace promised to those who walk after the Spirit. To assert that this death is eternal is to ignore the context and to contradict other clear passages. For example, Jesus said in John chapter 11, verse 26, And whosoever liveth and believeth in me, watch this, shall never die, believest thou this. According to Paul, the key to spiritual victory is spirit dependence, not self-dependence. Spirit reliance, not self reliance. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven when you die, I encourage you, my friend, to watch the video in the description below, The Bible Way to Heaven, and be saved today. God bless.